Kat Bundy, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the tattoo shop um, before we open the doors to the public. So um, I know you guys get to check it out on the show every now and then, but um, this is kind of like a behind the scenes to high voltage tattoo. So um, come check it out. I think a lot of people when they come in here, they don't realize that all the stuff on the walls is just you know, part of my collection and things that I've collected over the years and gifts that have been given to us by fans or people that we've tattooed or just artists in general. So this is actually a portrait um, of my hands holding my favorite tattoo machine and it was done by Sean Barber, who's also an awesome painter. The guitars on the walls, all of them are pretty much with the exception of like two or three were given to us um, as gifts. Like that one in particular was, was given to us by Dave Grohl. He actually wrote like really small lettering, like lyrics to a song all across the, uh, around the edges of the guitar. So it's a pretty special guitar. Over here, um, even though I hate pictures of myself, I had to hang this one up because it's such a great portrait and it was done by my dear friend, Wes Borland. I think a lot of people know him from all the music that he's created and the bands that he's in, but they don't know that he's a talented painter. And he actually made this frame by hand too, so that's pretty awesome. These three guitars here are Dimebag uh, guitars, and um, this one here is from Phil Collin from Def Leppard, and I just recently was able to tattoo him and his wife, and that was a, a hand-painted guitar that he gave to us, so I thought that was really awesome. Um, if you follow me this way, obviously this is the drawing area where a lot of the, the magical part of the creating of the tattoos happens in the beginning stages, and it's very communal, so it's where we spend a lot of time hanging out and talking and making fun of things and whatnot. I love looking at these black velvet paintings. Originally, I just wanted to um, have like an employee of the month wall. And so I thought, what better way than get portraits of all of my teammates painted on black velvet. So it's kind of different, but cool. This guitar was gifted to us by Dave Navarro after I tattooed the portrait of his mom on him. And that tattoo is actually featured in the Tattoo Chronicles if you want to read more about it. Um, Oh, check this out, this is really cool. This little guy here, um, a fan made this for us and it's a Lego version of the tattoo shop and I'm pretty sure that that redhead with the sword in her hand is supposed to be me. This lovely gem over here of a chandelier, um, there's a really neat story behind it because um, it is made by a um, glass sculptor from New Orleans named Mitchell Gade and um, when he originally mailed out the 66 glass Jesuses, um, they came all shattered and broken. So um, it was right before uh, the hurricane happened, and so a lot of his stuff in his studio was broken. So it took a little while for him to redo it, but you know it was definitely worth the wait. And this is probably my favorite chandelier on the planet. This is usually where Dan Smith tattoos, and so um, I thought it would be cool to hang. Um, a portrait, a watercolor portrait that he recently did, and I think he's just so talented. So all the stuff on the wall is just meant to inspire, and it definitely inspires me, and I think it inspires the rest of the crew. So I think before we open up the doors, I should show you my office. This actually says ego sum domus, and that means I am home in Latin. So here's my home. I think the overall theme is just obviously romantic, baroque stuff. I love candles and just old, you know, filigree and uh, beautiful ornate things, but I obviously collect a lot of albino taxidermy. So if you actually look up here, there's a weasel, some arctic foxes, a dove, and there's even an albino cobra, which is pretty neat. There's really not much to it other than just a nice, quiet, safe haven for all of us to hang out. Cool, I hope you guys liked uh, this little mini tour, um, but I gotta get back to work before we open up the shop. So um, hopefully I'll see you guys when you come visit the shop. See you later.